Several headwinds have surrounded Coinbase, the world's largest trading platform, including a shelf offering and a new bankruptcy disclosure that potentially exposes users' assets to risk. The current bear market has made the situation worse. Amid this, Coinbase has revealed something shocking about Cardano, which will help address the ongoing situation. What implication does this have on the current and potential investors? Well, let's get into the video and find out more about this. As you probably know, the global crypto market cap has reduced by about 1.31 trillion, while the traditional markets are also crashing worldwide. Billions of dollars worth in crypto's investors' monies have already been wiped out in the last few days of the market crash. The psychology of moments like this is important to understand. Investors naturally seek out haven assets when investments fall, which will not lose their value, usually USD. But everyone rushing to exit at once produces a liquidity crisis, where the number of sellers surpasses the number of buyers, further driving lower prices. The general sell-off combined with a massive deleveraging event resulted in an intense rush for cash. In these moments, investors do not sell what they want to sell, they sell whatever they can. The situation has affected cryptocurrencies and crypto exchanges. Coinbase, a large trading platform with over 98 million users and $256 billion in assets, was not left out. Coinbase already rings a familiar bell in your ears, right? It's a legitimate cryptocurrency exchange and broker due to its high-profile investors and highly regulated location, San Francisco. The exchange has never experienced a hack despite holding lots of consumer funds that are capable of attracting hackers. This indicates that Coinbase does a very good job in keeping the platform safe for customer funds. But the way that it can prevent hacks from affecting users requires the user to give up some privacy and control of their digital assets. It is also known for freezing customer accounts as soon as anything suspicious is spotted. Cardano is one of the top 10 most valuable cryptocurrencies by market cap. Its proof-of-stake blockchain is designed to be a next-generation evolution of Ethereum, seeks to be more flexible, sustainable, and scalable. Cardano's remarkable features enable it to be staked on Coinbase, the world's largest Bitcoin exchange and broker, which had plans to expand its staking offerings and scale the scaling portfolio this year. Much like every native cryptocurrency, ADA can be bought or sold on Coinbase, and is available in all Coinbase-supported regions. After Cardano's launch in October 2017, it was first traded on Bittrex Exchange and later Cryptopia. Both exchanges were eventually hacked and liquidated, emphasizing the importance of choosing well-regulated crypto exchanges when investing in any crypto asset. Over the years, Coinbase has proven to be a worthy option. Previously, individuals could stake Cardano on their own via a delegating staking service. This process is often confusing and complicated. With Coinbase, there is an easy and secure way for any retail user to actively participate in the Cardano network and earn rewards. The Cardano network sets the underlying return rate depending on the number of staking participants. Then Coinbase distributes the return to customers, less a commission. The ongoing crypto market downturn has forced Coinbase to pause plans to triple its headcount this year. The company stated that it was slowing down the hiring rate to ensure that they are the best position to succeed during and after the market downturn. On May 17th in an official blog post, Coinbase said, Heading into this year, we plan to triple the size of the company. Given its current market conditions, we feel it is prudent to slow hiring and reassess our headcount needs against our highest priority business goals. It is also stated that the current slowdown will force it to become more rigorous in its prioritization. The current crypto bear market has caused a big dip in monthly transacting users, trading value, and assets on the Coinbase platform compared to the previous year's experience. This triggered a massive sell-off after the release of 2022 earnings. 2022 revenue was a huge letdown, and the company has lost $430 million during the quarter. Both retail and institutional revenue was down over 50%. Lower crypto prices caused a $258 million impairment charge because the SEC requires all companies holding crypto assets to include any losses when they fall below their cost basis. Excluding impairment charges, Coinbase lost $172 million per quarter. The exchange reduces 2022 expectations due to the challenge of the low trading volume. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, an analyst who covers Coinbase for Raymond James, acknowledged in a note to clients that there was an ongoing debate on whether the crypto market was in one of its typical funks or if it was the post-pandemic bubble. While management strongly believes the former will prove to be true, we suspect there is a little bit of truth to the latter, particularly with crypto falling to serve as an inflation hedge thus far in 2022. 
O'Shaughnessy wrote. Speaking further, he said in the firm expects Coinbase to continue to lose money in the coming quarters and that the cons of increased crypto regulation down the road will outweigh the pros. Instead of this, government officials have made it clear that regulation was coming. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said in April that more government oversight was needed in the fledgling industry and that over the next six months, the Treasury will work with the White House and other agencies to develop reports and recommendations on digital currency. Our regulatory framework should be designed to support responsible innovation while managing risk, especially those that would disrupt the financial system and economy, Yellen said. However, in a letter to shareholders, Coinbase stated that it believes the current market conditions are not permanent and remains focused on the long term while prioritizing product development. Also, Coinbase followed a shelf registration with the SEC and may need to sell stock in order to stay afloat. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong denied that the company is at risk of bankruptcy on Twitter, so hopefully the company has plenty of cash to make it through the crypto bear market. There are several concerns about Coinbase's policy on crypto assets in the event of bankruptcy. Indeed, assets held on Coinbase are technically owned by Coinbase since the company is configured to report customer assets on its balance. In April, Coinbase launched its NFT marketplace to compete with OpenSea and generate revenue from the growing NFT industry. The move was seen as a direct challenge to OpenSea. However, the initial activity has been slow, threatening its plans. The 5.8 million Coinbase users staked their crypto on exchange to generate yield with their assets. Then the company added Cardano to its platform, which turned out to be the best decision ever. Due to Cardano's massive user activity, the same result is reflected on the Coinbase platform. It stands a huge chance of staking more products in the future. Coinbase user growth had a 75% compound annual growth rate over the last year, and the company continues to rack up more user growth, despite falling crypto prices. Coinbase has 98 million verified users, and those users will spend a lot of money buying crypto once the market prices pick up. Coinbase will likely cross the 100 million user mark in 2022, while the stock price keeps crashing. Long-term investors have a wonderful opportunity to acquire an industry-leading company with a growing user base, even at rock-bottom prices. But at the end of the day, users make fintech companies such as Coinbase valuable. As long as the user base increases, there is still hope. Of course, there are several other risk factors that investors need to take note of. The price of Cardano ADA soared to a 7-week high of $1.13 when it was announced that it had been included on the Coinbase exchange. Again, just so we are sure that you understand what staking is all about, it is the process of actively participating in transaction validation on proof-of-stake blockchains. Unlike Bitcoin, which relies on the computing power of tens of thousands of computers, POS blockchains are secured by people committing a portion of their crypto holdings to the network. In return, they receive a share of newly minted coins. Cardano is earning the trust of crypto investors due to the Coinbase's action of adding digital currency to its platform. The whiff of the news resulted in a boost in ADA's price to 16.3%. The relationship between Coinbase and Cardano has turned out to be mutualistic. There is a huge possibility that Cardano's other features and upcoming projects will cause a skyrocket in Coinbase's performance shortly, as its technology is advancing at rapid speed and it looks to take on the likes of Ethereum in building a massive blockchain ecosystem. But of course, let us have your opinions about this in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to click on the like, subscribe, and of course the notification bell.